Hello everybody, it's me, Teacher Sig, and today we are going to do bubble painting. Are you guys ready? So, Matea and Robin will help me again today, but first let me show you the materials that we need. They're all over here. We need dishwashing liquid, or you can also use baby shampoo. We have our food coloring, and then we have our water. We need bowls, or you can use muffin pans and straw and what else if you have young kids you need also a bubble one like this and of course paper to paint on <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> okay does it smell bad a little yeah okay so this is what we will do teacher already mixed up this one so it has the dishwashing liquid, it has food coloring. You put about three to five drops to make it really colorful. And water and straw. Okay. But they will help me. So, this is only for the um, older kids because we have to be sure that they will not drink the water, so the bubble solution. Okay, so always just blow. Ready? Go! Ooh, look at that. Look at that. What color is this? Blue, it's color blue. Uh, let's leave it there first, huh? What color is this? Red. Okay, so this is how we will do our... Is it big? For the big kids. You get your paper and you use it to pop the bubbles. Can you see the bubble marks there? Okay. For the younger kids, you can use your bubble wand, and to make it easier for the kids, you can post it or stick it on the wall or hang it. And it will be like this. Did you know that blowing bubbles is one of the best ways to exercise jaw muscles and to prepare the mouth for pronunciation? So this is the answer. Use the straw. Well, if you use the bubble wand, you have circles like that all over the paper. I hope you guys enjoy doing the bubble painting. Go try it at home. Show me your work. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe.